This video is a re-upload of an older video when I first started out on YouTube. The audio was so bad that I had to redo it after two years. The actual content is the same, it's just the audio that I just put through Audacity and I re-uploaded that. So if you want more details, please check out the description below and the link above in the card. <laughs> Okay, no chit chatting, we're just gonna open this damn thing. This is not an unboxing, I hate unboxing. Right, see what we got. Neatly packaged, secure, right. Intel, we're not gonna need. AMD, we're going to need, yep. Accessories for both, I guess. Right, we're gonna need that. Let me put this out of the way. And what we've got inside. One fan. Brilliant. The main cooler. Okay. Nothing. Okay, so this is the PS we'll do this for later. Let's put the fan. Oh. So that says the second NF fan, not the first fan. In the end, I did not use the second fan because it was giving me some clearance issue with the RAMs. But if you are going to put the second fan, note that you're going to have to use the two fan brackets to first attach it to the second fan before you can mount it onto the cooler. That's the second fan. Let's put that here. Mounting system. Right. Right. Uh, instructions. Right. Mm. Da, la, 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 la. We'll use that later. Oh, look. Some curvy thingies. You curvy, curvy, curvy. You curvy. And some screw thingies. You know, screws and whatnot. You might come in handy. Okay. So screw thingies, curvy thingies, instruction thingies. Yeah, we'll put that there. And then... More accessories, more, more, yeah, yeah. Ooh, black thingies, IT, yeah. Hmm, that doesn't look too good. That looks a bit naughty. Naughty, naughty, naughty. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. That is a bracket holder. A some sort of holder. Eh. It's all tangled. Oh, no. It got tangled. I trying. Eh. Oh, yeah. Ta -da! This is for druggies. You did put this, you put there, and you press. Da! Okay. And this, as if you can't tell, this is a Noctua. They gave you this one to say that this is Noctua. Okay, very good. This, I do not know. Oh, it's Splitter. Splitter, you see? Splitter. Is Splitter. Four pin. Is Splitter. Okay. Two more fun Splitter. Okay, okay. Very good, very good. We switch off camera. Yeah? We reading instructions. And then we come back to you. Okay, you waiting now. The two mounting bars, four spacers, and four screws. And there uh, is no back plate because we're going to be using AMD's own stock back plate. Okay, let's get to work. Number one, unplug the CPU fan. Undo the retention tab. Remove the, remove the front one. Give it a little nudge if it's stuck and pull off. Show my alcohol and show my wipes. I like to wipe it, wipe it. I like to wipe it, wipe it. I like to wipe it. YP time over. Now we got to remove these screws. Because remember, I told you we're not going to be using any backplate. We're going to be using the stock backplate of BMB. Get your screwdriver, mate, and get in there. You know what I'm saying? So now we're going to have to go to the back. Put these in. There you go. AMD's own backplate, and we're going to need that. We're going to need these four spacers, four screws, and the two mounting bars. Make sure your backplate is at the back. Spacer, mounting bar, screw. Mounting bar, spacer. This way, and this way, and that's gonna screw into there. 
Sorry guys, but I actually inserted the mounting bars the wrong way with the middle screw facing the motherboard instead of facing myself. As you can see in the pic from the instruction manual, I did eventually insert it the right way as you will see in the next step, but the footage got accidentally deleted. Hence, please take care at this stage and make sure you screw the mounting bar with the middle screw facing yourself. The rest of the procedure is the same. Just hand screw the mounting bars first before you tighten with the screwdriver. Okay, we're gonna have to remove the front fan, the center fan. So I'm guessing we go there. Now be wary, a couple of these RAM sticks are gonna get stuck underneath. So something for you to consider for future RAM change or upgrades. Thermal paste, there, open up. Just gonna use a dab, just a little bit. Less is more, and place it in. Once you have aligned the cooler, just use a screwdriver or the one that came in the accessories box to tighten the screws, but do not over tighten. So let's hook it in. Gently. Central one first. A little bit fiddly. So I'm sure you'll get the hang of it. Find yourself a central location. There we go. Actually, I'm going to plug the cable in first. Before I forget. Right, one done. Conclusion time! This was the 1800 pound Cooler Master Cosmos 2 build which belongs to my friend. Since it needed some TLC for optimization and despite me strongly advising otherwise, my stubborn friend went with this behemoth of a cooler instead of the much cheaper Cooler Master Hyper 103 which I recommended or even the EVO 212. Anyway, the CPU temp and CPU fan noise is much improved but that was to be expected from this successor of the award winning DH14. What wasn't so expected is the still remaining loud noise left by the fans of the now older Sapphire HD 7970 and its even higher temperature. So I guess you can consider this an unfinished part 3 of the optimization of the Cosmos 2. What happened to part 2 you ask? Glad you did. I actually successfully and freely upgraded its Windows 7 32-bit to a Windows 10 64-bit as its part 2, the video of which I will be releasing soon. I have seen many wrong tutorials online showing the wrong methods, sometimes misleading and other times maybe out of ignorance. So if you want to catch that one, subscribe and do your thing down below. This was Ash from Heal My PC. Until next time, peace out.